Today I'm going to reveal the secret formula for healthy yet delicious breakfast smoothies. And then following that formula, I'm going to show you six different colored, healthy, delicious breakfast smoothies to get you started. make your breakfast smoothie delicious and nutritious you need to add one ingredient of each category and that would be you need a protein and you can add the protein in the form of protein powder raw nuts an egg white or yogurt it can be low fat high fat depending on your needs it can be Greek yogurt whatever you want but choose unsweetened and then after the protein, you're gonna have to choose your fat if your protein doesn't already contain the fat, such as the nuts. Then you would want to add some ground flaxseed, chia seeds, hemp seeds, those all three of those give you omega-3 fatty acids. You can also add an egg yolk. Yes, that means you can combine one whole egg and that counts as your protein and your fat. You can also add some raw nuts, which yes, that means that by adding nuts, a lot of nuts, you can count them as your protein and your fat, or you can add some avocado, which makes it really, really creamy. Then you're going to want to add some carbohydrates, and the best carbohydrate, of course, is fresh or frozen fruit. I like to use frozen in this case because it makes the smoothie extra creamy. You can add blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, frozen mango, or here I have fresh orange. Orange is not really great for freezing, so I use it fresh or a kiwi, which is also great. You can also use pineapple and tons more. I have a full list on the blog post. And we're going to want to add more vitamins and fiber to your smoothie in the form of vegetables. This is a great because vegetables have just as many, if not more vitamins than the fruit, but without the carbohydrates and the extra sugar. So for that, you can use raw shredded red cabbage, raw beets, half a beet is usually enough for a smoothie, raw baby spinach, raw carrot, or blanched and frozen cauliflower or blanched and frozen butternut squash. These two vegetables taste much better blanched and frozen because else the smoothie will be quite fibrous and like hard to drink. But these vegetables are great because they are not too strong in flavor so your smoothie will stay nice and sweet. And now one thing that we're going to add to absolutely every smoothie is half a frozen banana because it makes it extra creamy and sweet. If you're not a banana lover, add frozen mango to each and every smoothie that you want to make. And then obviously, if we mix all of this, the blender will have a hard time. So we're going to have to add a liquid, which can be either water or any kind of milk that you like. I love nut milk for my smoothies, but even dairy can work. And if you add dairy, that also counts as your protein. You will obviously need a blender. Uh, a high-speed blender is the best, but any blender will do. The smaller you cut your fruit and vegetables, the easier it is on your blender. So if you don't have a high-speed blender, just use whatever blender you have and chop up your vegetables to make it easier on it. Let's start off with my favorite of the six of them, green breakfast smoothies. For that, you're going to need half a frozen banana as a carbohydrate and sweetener half a cup of water, a quarter cup of yogurt as a protein, one slice of frozen avocado cut into chunks, a peeled fresh kiwi, and a handful of baby spinach. Blend it all well together until it's nice and smooth and then serve it. Next up is this beautiful purple colored breakfast smoothie and for that you're going to need half a frozen banana as a carbon sweetener, half a cup of water, a quarter cup of a protein powder as a protein, a small handful of a raw cashews as a fat, half a cup of frozen blueberries and a handful of shredded red cabbage. Now turn on the blender and blend it until it's super super smooth, serve it in a glass and enjoy. Next, let's make an orange breakfast smoothie. For that, you're going to need half a frozen banana as carb and sweetener, half a cup of water, a quarter cup of plain unsweetened yogurt as your protein, a tablespoon of ground flaxseed as your fat, and then half an orange and one peeled and diced carrot. 
Now turn on the blender and blend it until it's super smooth. Serve it in a glass and enjoy. Now let's make this gorgeous hot pink breakfast smoothie. For that you're going to need half a frozen banana as sweetener and carb, half a cup of nut milk of your choice, an egg white as your protein, a tablespoon of chia seeds as your fat, and then half a cup of frozen raspberries and about half a small beet. Now turn on the blender and blend everything until it's super smooth. Serve it in a glass and enjoy. And I don't even like beets, but this is delicious. Next up is this yellow breakfast smoothie. And for that one, you're going to need half a frozen banana as your carb and sweetener, half a cup of water, a quarter cup of plain unsweetened yogurt as your protein, a tablespoon of hemp seeds as your fat, and then half a cup of frozen mango and a handful of frozen butternut squash. Now blend this all well together until it's smooth serve it in a glass and enjoy. And lastly, we're going to make this rose colored breakfast smoothie. And for that, you're going to need half a frozen banana as your carb and sweetener, half a cup of nut milk of your choice, a quarter cup of raw nuts, both as your protein and your fat, half a cup of frozen strawberries and a small handful of frozen cauliflower. Now blend that all up until it's nice and smooth. Serve it in a glass and enjoy. I hope this secret formula helps you to create your own breakfast smoothies considering your favorite fruits and vegetables and I can't wait to see your creations. Please don't forget to snap a picture and show me and I'll see you with my next video. Bye.